Hello and welcome. This is Echo Arcana. My name is Brigitte. Whoever is new, welcome, tribe. Love you as always and thanks for coming back. So I'm doing this regularly now, every week, seven days from now, pick a card readings. So you can know what to expect during those seven days, what to avoid, what good is coming, etc, etc. Now let's pick four. Pile number one is this card over here. Take a look if this is drawing you in. Now for pile number two, we have this card over here. By the way, whoever is new, this is my intuitive deck. I read from abstract as well. And number three is this card over here. So take your pick. If you need, stop the video and I'll catch you in piles. Hello, pile number one people. Whoever has chosen this intuitive card over here. I'm doing things a bit differently today. I do have written a message for you for your current situation, okay? So not the future, how you might be feeling right now or what you might need to hear. So let's see what we have for pile number one. It says, when the messages are sent, I will patiently continue working on my goal. My job is done here. I know what's coming. What's coming is what I deserve. The payback time is now. So I'll just leave it with you, okay? And I'm not gonna say anything else regarding that. Let's take a look at those seven days and what you might be dealing with. Alrighty, so I do see what's going to be working for you is communication. Communication skills will be on point, okay? And um, I do see a scenario where someone might be interested in fashion, in sewing, in knitting, in... Um, In a hobby that is to do with water and someone likes to say I feel like someone uh, someone cannot wait for Christmas <laughs> doesn't matter whenever you're watching this video guys I, I hear someone saying oh my god there is so long to go till Christmas still and I can't wait uh, this is fun okay let me turn in to get more specific messages for you guys I see someone coming to visit you but for some kind of activity or you have something planned together and it's going to be a really refreshing time for you guys and this person is someone who is really good at communicating themselves and I feel like you're gonna come up with some ideas together, maybe even for the future plans. It's like, hey, let's just catch up, hey, or um, I'm gonna come over and visit you and then next thing you know, you are coming up with a plan of some sorts, would it be holiday? Would it be someone moving the house? Would it be someone working on some kind of a project? So you do have a person. The most important thing for pile number one is a person coming towards you who might be an air sign, might be water, and I do have a little bit of earth here. I'm not feeling fire as much here though, okay? So this person is someone who is, um, who likes to, I wouldn't want to say dress well, like a fashionista. I would say that they are taking care of how they look and they would want things to be matching before they leave a house. I do see really nice hair and I also do see really nice interesting accessories 
it, they're different, okay, from someone else that you might know. Now, this person might have a connection with water. What I mean by that, I feel like some of them might have recently, recently, I will just, I would say around half year, okay, in the recent pa past. And I do see a half year timeline, kinda, where they have gone on holiday of some sorts, and obviously people like to go by the water, but for this person, connection with water is much, much more important. I do feel like they might like diving, surfing, paddle boarding, um, snorkeling, anything to do with that. And this is someone who is coming towards you with a really really good I don't think you know about this and they know about this that the moment you will meet guys it will be like hey you know it's so nice to seeing you uh, so on and on and then you won't expect both of you guys that you will start talking out of nowhere about future plans and this is giving me a lot of excitement when I speak about it. I feel like your life might be shifted a little bit. The way you see things now and think about the future now, whenever you watch this video, you might have a major shift in the coming seven days. And it's something like a realization for you where you're like, oh my God, that's what I should be doing that's what i should be concentrated on okay now what's good coming for you is on this side over here what to watch out for is on the other side okay i had to clarify one card so i pulled a third one what's good coming here we have time to get out of a situation and again this vibes very much with let's say you see your path going one way now but that probably isn't the best path for you. Therefore, universe is sending you this person, okay? By the way, they're really good in business. If they ever wanted to have their own business, maybe they do. Maybe they are thinking about it and they would propose something for you too, okay? It's a lot to do with um, future endeavors, with pentacles, with... I do also see it's something to do with holiday for some of you, okay? So it splits to two. And because we have time to get out of a situation, universe is sending you this person in order for you to shift your direction. Where this balloon is going, maybe is not the way you should be going, okay? Maybe you have to shift a little bit towards one direction and that's what's gonna be happening. So whenever you're watching this video, guys, remember if... Um, during those seven days, something will happen not the way you have planned it. It means that it's meant to be, okay? You are being shifted. Do not feel like, oh my God, damn it, I've spilled that bucket over there. Think that, okay, what's going to come out of this now? You do have a throne here as well. It says position of authority. And I do feel like for some of you, this might be talking about that person too, okay? For others i do see if you're waiting for any answer from higher authority of some sorts you know answer um let's say if any of you have applied for visa or you have any court dealings or you have filled applications submitted uh, documents of some sorts maybe applied for uni even um i do feel like this is going to be a good answer the answer you are expecting to receive okay so do not be afraid when it comes to formalities everything's gonna be sorted for you now what to watch out for let me see we have the wheel and it says indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly that's something that should be avoided at any cost for you guys because that's what's going on. And I feel like you will not give in to this uh, energy because you want it or not, 
whoever this person is, they will shift it for you. They're being sent for a reason, okay? Therefore, you won't have to endure this energy. Now, we do have an successful plan and successful plans. And as I said before, it's because universe is saying time to get out of the situation. That plan has to be broken off, you know, like this knot, literally the rope. That's not yours. Leave it. You know, it's too heavy for you. Start fresh. Make sense? Now, we have bird flying news is on the way. And this bird for me is more so talking about the message from the authority for most of you, okay? Uh, for some of you, it will be a message from this person. But I feel like a lot of you will know whom it might be, whom is coming towards you, okay? So some of you are actually unaware, but majority, I feel like you have a plan of some sorts with this person. And it might have been planned for some time now. So it feels like the time you'll have to, together will be much more... Hmm, how should I put it for you? Much more productive rather than just pleasure. Okay, I hope it's making sense. Because you need to turn around those ni the Nine of Pentacles. You have potential, guys. Whenever, whatever it is that's on your mind that you're trying to make it work. Because I do get a magician vibe from you, okay? Uh, you need to turn it upright. And whoever this... Sorry. Whoever this person is who's coming towards you, believe me, they know what's up and they will know how to make things happen okay maybe you need a little bit of a push right now where you like um i feel good things coming towards me but i don't know how i'm gonna do it and this person comes in your life saying like hey there is a brilliant idea that i have okay and it's not something that a lot of people maybe have thought about or uh, not something that is regular, not, not something that is normal. I have a different idea, a different approach to it, okay? That is going to bring a lot of clarity in your life and also rewards. Whoever has any issues with your home environment, that's going to be a little bit um, coming down for you, okay? But make sure that your home is peaceful during those seven days from now. That's something that you'll have to concentrate on, okay? You'll have to have a peaceful home environment because there will be a moment when you'll have to concentrate on something that you'll be doing. Some of you guys might actually, that's 0.1%, I think, um, will be coming up with idea to maybe go on some sort of um, spiritual retreat and it's, it's gonna be a blast. If you would book that, it's gonna be really, really good for you. Life changing, okay? So whoever that person I've talked about in different scenario is, you know, for other people coming with a brilliant idea. For some of you, this is you deciding where to go. Uh, booking yourself in somewhere and I do feel like it's gonna involve other people too being there meaning that someone it's like a group kind of thing you know whatever it is for you guys a group thing so if you are struggling right now um, with anything in your life and you feel like you don't have control over your life maybe this reading is an idea for you to look spiritual getaways and to actually get yourself grounded and meditate and learn from people whom you don't know and share your experiences and you will have a really good mentor over there, okay? Wow, that was really interesting, actually. Let me know, guys. Whoever needed that kick and push towards booking holiday like this, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have found something because... I think I've just given myself an idea too. <laughs> okay, so pile number one, tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. Whoever is new here, consider joining my tribe and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Hello people, whoever have chosen pile number two and this intuitive card over here. I'm doing things a bit differently today because I wanted to kind of change things around. Um, not the tarot deck, 
but I do want to pass a message to you when it comes to your present moment. So whenever you, you are watching this video, I do have written a message for you and I've written it when I was looking at your intuitive card that you have picked, okay? It says, I will rest my feet after recent struggles I have encountered. Tranquility is knocking on my door. Door to a new beginning, door to a new me, door to a new place and way of being. So maybe that's something that you are thinking about. That's something that you need. I do feel like some of you might need to put your feet up and just relax. It's like after a whole full week of um, scheduled appointments and work and everything, you can finally relax. So that's something that I would advise you to do, pile number two, okay? I do see that you might have lack of sleep here in some cases. Now let's take a look at your tarot here. All right, I hope you can see this. I'm gonna explain you what's what. So on this side, we have good things coming. On this side, we have what to watch out for. But we're going to start with tarot first. So during seven days from whenever you're watching this video. Whew, okay, guys, pile number two. You know, like, I, mm -hmm. you know that I like to warn you whenever I see some kaka energy going on. So that's what you're gonna get in my reading. So I'd better, I'd better warn you so you know what's what, rather than just telling you the beautiful things only. Okay. Now, watch out for someone who. I keep getting the shaman kind of vibe, but not a good shaman, okay? Someone who's a bit of a scammer in a way, someone who is using their powers not for good intentions, and someone who... Someone who might be using their powers to make you smaller. And this sucks. I know I didn't want to put this um, out for you guys, but now it's better for you to strengthen your energy field, okay? Even in your mind saying whatever negative is being sent to me, it will bounce back from wherever it came from. It's as easy as that, okay? You don't have to worry about it too much. But if you can see from the imagery, someone is using, that's reversed. And that's working really well with Ten of Wands. Because I was like, why is this woman carrying so much? She is carrying so much because someone is putting those burdens on her using their power. So make sure you're not dealing with anyone who is manipulative or who is shady or who might be shady in what they are doing in life, okay? And it goes also for um, any spiritual work, okay? So choose whom you pick in wisely if you are thinking about um, going and having a reading. Like let's say when... If you don't have enough money and you're like, ah, oh, you know what, I'm just gonna, gonna go to this person because they are cheap. Or I'm gonna go to this person even though I don't know them very well. Or something like that here. And also, I do see a situation of someone who might be jealous. And therefore, someone is using someone else's power to make you smaller, okay? So make sure that you are aware of this and kind of be aware and protect your energy however you want to do it. Um, your mind is powerful enough for you to um, bounce back the bad energy from yourself, okay? Don't have to go through the whole um, ritual, you know, your mind is powerful enough. Just imagine it bouncing back. Now, let's get that kaka energy away from, <laughs> away from this reading now. And you guys will be very independent and I feel like a lot of you are already. 
you are, I really like you guys, pal number two, not, a, not that I'm um, throwing compliments around, but you are really cool, because you are someone who is a hard worker, and you are also someone who is seeking for peace when it comes to home environment, okay, and that's something you will be doing, you will be relaxing more than you have had before, it's funny that we have this, you know, kaka energy in the middle here, but from both sides, I have you peaceful AF. You will be very much concentrated on your dreams, but when it comes to your emotion, emotions, it's like, what is this? You might be thinking about, what is this place that I've always wanted to visit? What is my, you might even, some of you, I feel like, start going through your bucket lists um, and, uh, you know, your left, your dreams that you had before, or maybe a list that you have written places to visit or things to do, I feel like you will be coming back to that. And you will, if you will act on it, even if it's a little small thing, not like, you know, travel the globe or anything like this, um, even little cafe you, you've seen and you're like, oh, I would like to visit this place sometime or, oh, I would like to go to this, um, let's say, gig or to this museum. It looks cool. Anything to do with that, if you will act on it, you'll have an amazing time, guys, okay? So I would encourage you to go to the place that you will be drawn during the seven days from whenever you're watching this video, okay? I feel like some of you might even make a new friend over there. And that friend might be a um, woman, as it says here, I said what good things come in for you, right? Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair, okay? For some of you, it might be a, a man who is of a darker complexion too. So let's not take sexes as, you know, fixed. But I do have a lot of feminine here just because looking at these two, uh, they kind of look very similar. I don't know why, but maybe because they're looking down a bit, both of them. It's something about that energy here. And this woman, I feel like she will bring you peace and she will kind of advise you on how to chase your dreams. And it can also be simply you listening to someone talk or you listening to someone else's friends and you're like, wow, this person is actually really, really good and really nice and really grounded and I would want to be friends with them. So I do see an energy of someone who is fresh, okay? For some of you, it might be someone from the past, someone you have known of, but they will, um, those during those seven days, they might seem a little bit different from how they used to be. Therefore, that energy will be fresh. This person will be very abundant when it comes to wow it goes so deep here guys okay they will be very feeling very abundant themselves and therefore they will tra transmit it to you and you will catch that and you'll keep it and it will keep you going this person will be really good for you okay they will remind you of your dreams and they will remind you what matters in life what we also have here is tulip and it says great passion and for me this is again you and those dreams or those um thing things that you have wanted to do before okay so make sure you act on it because and please let me know how it went because i feel like you'll have really good experience we have an apple and bear in mind, I have asked what's good coming for you, so don't worry about testing part, okay? There will be a temptation of some sort, but just erase that snake over there because we're asking about good things, okay? So I feel like you guys, again, um, for me, what this image reminds me of is when you... Um, I almost see like a scenario where someone is walking in the field and they suddenly 
noticed this massive tree full of apples and they've been really craving for one the whole afternoon and it comes out of nowhere and it's such a surprise and it's um, so rewarding as well but more so very kind of interesting because it's something unexpected and during those seven days that's going to be the most important thing for you guys to search for unexpected um sorry my phone is dying let me just okay um to search for opportunities uh but don't expect too much out of anything okay um go places visit um open that you know saved list on your instagram or whenever wherever you uh save uh, let's say places you want to go to or things even maybe you want to buy but wait do i have any no i don't have any <laughs> i was checking on this side do you have any card to kind of like you know take care of your money you, you don't so if you all if you wanted to buy something for a long time that would help you out too because i feel like it would boost your energy okay but now look how that apple is sitting here and i told you that scenario of someone walking in the field and then suddenly seeing this massive you know tree full of apples and it's amazing and then i looked at this hermit and that hermit looks like he, she is going literally towards that apple tree here when i place this card okay so make sure that you are listening to your gut feeling okay hermit goes and concentrates on oneself and is actually looking for what it is that they want to do what they are seeking it's all about that for you guys okay quiet your mind pile number two so that your intuition can lead you to where you have to be okay so i hope this has helped out pile number one if you're new consider joining my tribe tribe you are dope i love you as always and speak to you soon bye hello pile number three people whoever has chosen this card over here now i'm doing things a bit differently today i do have a message for your current situation so whenever you're watching this video maybe there's something you need to hear i was picking up messages looking at the card you have chosen from intuitive deck and i just have written down like a note for you guys it says I will make sure my home environment is worked on. I will walk away from shade and step towards a bright light. It has been a ride, but it's time to go. And I will leave it with you. Now, let's jump into your reading, pile number three. And right off the bat, I do have a lot of blue, turquoise and green color to it, okay? And it's beautiful. I think it's my favorite combo also brown yeah that's a beautiful combo here okay let me just clarify that we are starting with ace of cups and ace of wands here so whoa what's going on pile number three you will not only be i feel like you might have been dealing with um you might have been, how should I put it for you guys? There was a moment when you were indecisive when it came to your emotional needs. And I feel like you will finally realize what it was that was keeping you kind of stuck when it comes to relationship or when it comes to communicating with people on emotional level. Um, you might have heard some really good advices from someone it might be from your friend it might be from um, videos you might have watched online anything to do with that some of you books i feel like you will be learning how to communicate on a more open and a more emotional level and therefore you are drawing in a new emotional beginning and this is very abstract right how i said that but i feel like for you it's to do with
getting the spark back when it comes to romance. Maybe some of you have been dealing with similar patterns and now you know what's the pattern like in your life. Why, let's see, okay, let's take the Seven of Cups here. Let's see, if you have been um, in a situation where you have gotten one you have gotten a situation where let's say someone was you kept choosing someone who is uh, emotionally unavailable okay and then you kind of built this pile of your own experiences of similar patterns in life so i feel like you will be realizing why you have been drawing in certain people in your life why things were repetitive for you okay why now you feel like it's time for you to crumble this tower to throw everything away to the ground and start fresh that is reversed now that is done and dealt with from whenever you're watching this video during those seven days okay i feel like you will be coming back to your roots a little bit more guys and um, it seems like you might have been very different when it comes to your emotions and expressing yourself emotionally to other people when you were younger. Uh, you were more lighthearted to it. Now maybe you have started when you're growing up because of your past experiences, shutting yourself down and not letting people in. And you will be working on that during those seven days. Therefore, because you will be working on that, how to be more open, how to be more trusting, you will be drawing a new connection, okay? So that's a really, really good indication that you're working on yourself and you're working on understanding what patterns you have and why they have been there and how to deal with the next people coming in your life the next person coming in your life it seems like pile number three you might be breaking free from your core beliefs those beliefs that have been with you for a long time that are not good for you so let's say if someone as i said again the patterns okay if you are given the same situation all over again let's say the same third party or the same um the same energy when it comes to work where someone is always um, bringing drama or someone is bullying you doesn't matter which scenario you pick you will be tuning into your deepest self and saying hey I'm drawing this in because deep inside of myself I am afraid of it Therefore, I'm thinking about it. What if it's going to happen again? What if, what if? Therefore, universe is giving that to me again. Because I do have that fear inside of me that things will be repeated. That I'm not going to get the good partner because I've had this and that and that before. Or even if you think that you might do because you don't believe it, you just think it you're not getting it and that's what you will be working on and i feel like it's finally your break free time break free of your old beliefs that have to go okay you will be changing your emotional state you will be changing your vibration therefore once you work on your emotional state you will have really good connection coming in and also you do have for yourself here a spark for life again i feel like some of you might have lost spark in life for some time now like oh my god everything is the same um yeah i feel like good things will be coming in my life but i don't believe it and you will start believing it during these next seven days guys therefore you have towards the end really good cards eight of wands even though it's reversed guys I don't see it that way. I see that it's been there for all this time waiting for you when you will be working on your core beliefs and you will be changing yourself. Therefore, those cards can appear back in your life because they've been waiting there for so long. And 
once you'll do that, those both cards will turn around. What they both mean? They both mean that success in material, financial, um, financial gain is coming towards you here and it will be coming quicker than you think. But there is still some work to be done when it comes to that self, you know, core beliefs that I have talked about before. You are really close but you just need to work on it a bit more. Maybe some of you have not started yet, therefore this reading might be an indication for you or maybe you got some kind of clarity and you will be shifting your own energy, okay? Whew, pile number three, it's like a bit of a game changer for you, you know, those during those seven days. I also see a connection coming from your past towards you and it's going to be a really good time, okay? <laughs> You're going to have a lot of fun. Now, this side, it's talking about good things coming towards you. That side, what to watch out for? Let's see. We have a barrel. It says you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money or goals. Bear in mind, it's in position what's good coming towards you. So let's rephrase this. It says, you understand that you're not lacking anything in your life, not love, not money, not goals. Therefore, you'll have things coming to you. Because again, you are shifting your own energy, okay? So you will not have this kind of um, vibration in, anymore where you're like mm, I feel like I could have more romance in my life or I could have more money or, or I could be more passionate about my goals you'll understand that the only person keeping you away from this was you your own beliefs your own fears okay we have peacock it says beware of great pride and again take it as good things coming towards you you will be really prideful. Your confidence is coming back, guys. But that confidence boost will be so good for you because you will start acting on your dreams and goals and whatever it is that your heart is desiring right now. But maybe you're not sure if you are good enough or you're not sure that you should actually go for it. Or there's someone else holding you back. You'll be like, I'm in my power. No one can stop me. Done. Okay. And we also have a sun, happiness and well-being. I feel like this card sums up the whole reading over here, okay? Let's look at what to watch out for. It says, you will be taken care of in difficult times. Even that, it's in kind of a good card, right? But what I do see here, what to watch out for, watch out for people who gossip at work, okay? Watch out for people who do seem like they are really want to help you especially when it comes to workplaces but they might be uh not as honest as they seem okay just a uh, heads up for you guys we also have a bow and it says you're highly you are highly thought of oh and that vibes with it you know it vibes with that previous card because someone is thinking that's in a bad position again right what to watch out for someone is thinking about you therefore they might be talking about you therefore uh you don't need to get involved in any of this or try to stay away from people don't open yourself up to people who you whom you do see like have a tendency to gossip to you about others therefore they probably are doing it about you to others as well does it make sense something about this energy here now we have a tree and it says affairs with your family so you guys during those seven days from now watch out how you communicate with your family members because i feel like some of you might have um disagreements okay when it comes to uh, decision making when it comes to opinions uh, try to stay away from that we it's so beautiful we have two trees over here can you see we have ten of pens and we have this tree over here what this is telling me that <laughs> you guys um i feel like you all your life you are trying to concentrate on the positive and i feel like that's something that you kind of, the roots are already in the ground, but now is the matter of time until this tree is fully grown so you can start enjoying your life 
how you always wanted to enjoy your life okay it's um a bit like finally getting your fruits of labor here and also this uh, person coming towards you whom you haven't seen for some time now and it might be a water sign for some of you it might be a fire sign okay a bit of earth here too but these two are the most um the ones that stand out for me the most okay also pay attention to your home environment when we're talking about your current um situation not your future situation where, wherever you are are now okay your position right now pay attention to your home environment because i feel like you need to make sure that when you come home um it feels good so there is no clutter there is no one uh, nagging you there is no fights try to keep it peaceful because that peace that you will have will very much speed up the process of you changing your own vibration but this is literally guys like your core beliefs are changing during these seven days from now guys please update me if you'll remember because this seems like it's gonna be a really really good time for you guys to replan even life for some of you okay so whoever is my tribe, love you as usual. You are dope. If you are new, consider subscribing and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.